So this video for the next three to four minutes, I guess, is going to be about uh, clarity. Clarity on what it is that you want to achieve. Because if you want to achieve something more better than where you currently are, then um, one of the things that I'm going to assume that you already are doing is you're investing time in personal self-development uh, or things that will help you get better. And if, if that's the case, you'll be familiar with these three words here. B times do equals have. And really what that really suggests is that have is about goal setting, having a, a high level of clarity on what it is that you want to have, uh, material possessions, experiences, things, uh, abilities to do whatever it might be. What you want to have, the clarity around that, will only happen if you do stuff, the stuff that will actually move you towards that goal. And of course, some of the time uh, we'll be able to do that stuff just because it's within us already. Other stuff that we might not be able to do yet, but we need to therefore become a different person. We need to uh, grow as a person, learn stuff in order to do the stuff to get the things we want to have. So that's how Be Do Have Them works. Here's the thing, what's your level of clarity? on all of the goals that you might have. You might have property goals, investment goals, business growth goals, um, you know, customer goals, team goals. Again, the list can be endless, but what's your level of clarity on that? Because if you're unclear here, it leads to a lack of clarity here in terms of the things that you, need, you and your team need to do, and it also will uh, make you unclear here in terms of the things you, you and the team need to learn. So again, list down whatever goals you have. Now, if you're, if you're struggling on listing your goals, then you know, point one is get some goals. The second point there is once you've got them, just score yourself zero to 10 on your level of clarity for each of your goals. Because here's the thing, whatever the score you give yourself will be your current level of performance. I'm saying this to you because I've gone through that exercise. I was a bit shocked really because my, my, my scores were actually quite low. The follow-on point from that is that whatever scores you've given yourself, that's your current level of performance. So for me, that's my current level of performance. That was a bit of a wake-up call for me. And it came back to the idea of, actually, I need to get tighter around my goals. Now, you might think that as a business coach, I should be an expert, a guru at goal setting. In some areas, I probably have got some really good goals. In others, no. And I needed to learn from that. So uh, that's my kind of lesson to myself, but I thought it was worthwhile sharing with you. A point around the B as well. Uh, I've got an awful lot of uh, my colleagues, including myself, who we do a, a whole amount of learning and reading. But the reality is, actually learning and reading about stuff that I either already know or really just quite enjoy, as opposed to what are the things that I need to do that maybe I don't know how yet, but I, I have to do it in order to have the things I need to have. Actually, my reading, my reading list, the books I buy, the audibles I listen to, should really be focused around what it is that I want to do. Because the better I get there, the more the more skills, the better mindset I have here, enables me to do the stuff and that allows me to then be uh, achieving my goals. So, I hope that makes some sense to you. It was a real wake up call for me when I went through that exercise. Having thought I was quite good at goal setting, actually, if I'm honest, I was probably average. Um, now, I'm a bit more practiced than possibly a lot of other people. Uh, my encouragement to you is this, please start setting some goals. If you have got goals, give yourself a little bit of a, run it through this filter. Uh, if you want to discuss your goals uh, and, and kind of have me challenge them for you to help you get a better level of clarity, then I'm happy to do that. Pop in your thoughts in the, the comments box below and uh, I look forward certainly to hearing what your goals are, how you're doing on them and how, how maybe I can help you to uh, tighten them up and then get busy doing the stuff and learning the stuff that needs to be done in order to... Uh, to kind of really make those goals happen. So there we are, but until we meet, good luck in business.